What's up guys, it's, it's Motorcar here, and in this video I want to show you some gameplay on my White Mage. This is the Support Part 2 multiplayer video. Um, just real quick, I wanted to show you which setup I went ahead and decided to use for this. Um, I decided to replace Fat Chocobo with the Curse card and give the Curse card a try out. Uh, I want to kind of show that to you guys. Now, obviously, if you don't have Curse, you can easily replace it with Fat Chocobo, and that's fine, okay? But I, if you do have Curse and you are interested in maybe using it, um, then then I'm going to try and display that for you and show you exactly what Curse does and why Curse is good. Um, aside from that, it's a pretty standard composition. Uh, I have uh, the single target spell with the, uh, with the two buffs, and uh, we'll go from there. Um, I brought Berserk with me for extra damage to make sure that the, the fight finishes in, in one turn. So, um, anyways, let's get into this. Let's show you, um, this is probably my best run. Uh, I did make a mistake in this run, uh, but, you know, it's, it's nothing too major. Um, and there was some communication issues in this run. I really wish that they would make a stamp to say, hey, hold your abilities. Um, I guess they have the reserve action stamp, but that's kind of open for interpretation. And uh, some people might not understand that. Plus, it's kind of like a general interpretation. So, you know, people in the other people in the party other than who you're trying to communicate with um, might try to reserve their actions as well. And, you know, I, I really don't like some of these communication tools that we have. I, I realize they're kind of limited. Um, but you know, I, it's, it is what it is. So basically curse breaks down. It, it's either going to apply for one turn or for two turns, or it's going to apply for five turns. Now, if you get lucky enough to have it for five turns, then you never have to worry about casting it again. Um, if it only applies for two turns, then you're not going to have it available for the ultimate. So it's kind of tricky as to when to cast it. Um, I'm experimenting with the first turn uh, as of right now. I feel like as long as you can mitigate the damage at the start of the fight, then by the time the damage adds up enough to where you actually have to heal, it's not going to matter because the fight will be over. So I go ahead and cast it immediately and then do two attacks and um, one drive to get my resistances up and then uh, and also help with orb generation for the party. I can't stress enough guys, it's very very important that you do two attacks consecutively, two or more attacks consecutively and try not to do one attack by itself if at all possible. Now here's where I kind of mess up, okay, I should have let the breaker go first. And then I, I should have used my uh, my Fafnir's. That way I had more chance to, to get hard orbs um, for whatever spells that I needed to get them for. But since I am running a light hard orb composition, uh, storing um, ice orbs is fine if you choose to do that. The Black Mage here goes ahead and uh, kills the, the boss. Now... It, this is where I really need that button to say, hey, reserve your actions. I didn't have it, and you'll see I kind of like, I kind of search for it, and I realize that I don't have it, so I've corrected that since then, but um, this is this is where I, I went ahead and broke the orange bar, and I, I was trying to get the, the Black Mage to save, so that way he didn't have to waste uh, his good orbs, and he could just sit on his orbs that, uh, so that we could have a good break. But uh, it doesn't end up happening like that, and we end up basically overkilling the uh, the uh, orange bar like crazy. So, um, you know, it is what it is. Uh, that stuff does happen. You just got to kind of watch out for it and uh, correct it the next time. Um, so I'm calling out my buffs, the, the fact that I need to go first so that I can put a buff up. And, uh, and the party knows that... Um, I have my buffs and then uh, I go ahead and uh, put in uh, my buff with a drives with drives because I know the fights about to go and uh, 
I could have probably put in a couple auto attacks there, but it really doesn't matter because uh, this fight's pretty much over at this point. An assassin with six actions is almost guaranteed to break, um, especially with the bar at like two thirds like it is right now. So the black mage goes ahead and kills him here and then that's the end of the fight. Okay. Um, now let me show you just real quick one, one particular portion, one particular video where I got a five turn hit on my curse. Um, let's see, fast forward just a little bit here. I got a five turn hit on my curse. You'll see it here in just a second. Um, in this fight, I go ahead and choose to allow the breaker to go first. And then I put my blizzards in. I, and I was hoping that the, um, dark knights would catch on to what I was doing and use less action, but, uh, they, they decided to go ahead and, uh, use whatever they used. Uh, so there you see it right there. There's a four turn uh, debuff on on his curse, and um, I'll show you guys the uh, the damage on the ultimate. Gonna fast forward just a little bit. So I call um, I call out my next turn. The fact that I need to go first, so I'm gonna buff the um, the party knows now. And, uh, and I should be able to go first with no problems. Um, make sure you're doing your call outs, guys. Communication is very important. Uh, if you mess up on the communication, the party could mess up. So try to do that as much as possible. Um, so anyways, there you kind of saw the damage on the ultimate with curse up. Um, it didn't hit very hard and I was able to cure it with, uh, with just one berserk. But anyways, guys, that's kind of uh, that's kind of everything I really wanted to show you in terms of the uh, in terms of the healing and support side. Um, those are just some some examples of things that you could do. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys uh, have any questions or comments, de definitely leave a comment in the comment section below, and I'll get to them as soon as possible. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you next video.